Hello everyone and welcome back to Unbound Learners Pre-K. How are you doing today? If you're doing well, you can show me with a thumbs up. If you're feeling okay, you can put your thumb in the middle. And if you're not feeling very well today, you can put your thumb down like this. But hopefully after circle time is over, you'll be feeling better. So let's get started with our good morning song. Stretch out those airplane wings. We'll fly to one side, over to the other side, fly back to the middle, big stretch out in front. Now take that circle up over your head and we'll stretch on one side, over to the other side. One last stretch up at the top and now let's sing together. Good morning, dear earth. Good morning, dear sun. Good morning, dear rocks and flowers, everyone. Good morning, dear beast and birds in the trees. Good morning to you and good morning to me. Good morning, everyone. I hope that you're having a great day so far. So before we move on to the calendar and weather chart, there are a few things that we need to do. Number one, let's turn on our listening ears. Next, we have to put on our thinking hats. So you look for your thinking hat. My thinking hat is over here. What do you have under your chin today? The last thing that we need to do is warm up our hearts. Boom, 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 boom. And let's double check. Our listening ears are on, our thinking hats are on, and our hearts are all warmed up. So let me grab my pointing stick and let's go over the date. First, we'll start off with the month, which is right up here. Do you know what the month is called? October. Today is October 7th. So let's move the chip over from yesterday. Yesterday was October 6th. Today is October 7th, and the year is 2021, but you can also say 2021. I wonder how many days we've had so far in the month of October. Let's take out our counting fingers and warm them up to give them a little stretch. Will you count with me? We'll start at the number one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. We've had seven days so far in the month of October. And look at this. We're already holding up seven fingers, so we're ready to sing the Days of the Week song. Sing along with me. There are seven days, there are seven days, there are seven days in a week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Down at the bottom of the chart, we have the days of the week to go over. So listen for the sound that the day starts with. This says that yesterday was w Wednesday. That means that today is th Thursday. And tomorrow will be th Friday, the last day of the weekday. But let's go back and sing Today is Thursday together. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Today is Thursday, today is Thursday, today is Thursday all day long. Up at the top of the chart, we have the season. What's the season right now, friends? Fall. That's right. It's autumn where I live. And down at the bottom of the chart, we have a picture of the weather. So let's sing the weather song together. What's the weather? What's the weather? Can you tell? Can you tell? Is the sun shining? Is the rain falling? Can you tell? Can you tell? Look at this, friends. It's another rainy day where I live. 
because it's been raining so much, I was thinking that we can sing a song together. You probably know the words, so sing along with me. Rain, rain, go away. Please come back another day. All my friends would like to play. Rain, rain, go away. Another rainy day. It's a little bit chilly, but supposed to warm up. What about you, friends? Have you been getting a lot of rain where you live? What do you see outside of your window today? Thanks for sharing the weather with me. Let's move on to the letter, the number, and the sign of the week. Do you remember the sound that this letter makes? Wah! That's right! And what is this uppercase letter? W. This is a capital W. W says wah. So I have something today inside of the letter box. It starts with the letter W. Here's your first clue. This is a type of a liquid. This liquid you can drink, you can swim in, and you can also use it to wash yourself. Hmm, what could it be? Let's take a look. This is water. Water is a type of liquid. It's actually my favorite thing to drink. But not only can you drink water, you can also swim in it and bathe in it. Water starts with the letter W. -W. This is how you write in uppercase W. -W. One more time. And here's the number of the week. This is the number 19. When you write the number 19, you have to write two numbers since it's a double digit number. First, you write the number one, and then you write the number nine, 19. Let's count the number 19 together using the large bead frame. This is how you count to the number 19 using the large bead frame. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 110, nine units, 19. We have one more thing to count today inside of the number box. Let's take a look and see. I have these shamrocks. They're also called clovers. Now, most clovers have three or four leaves on them. The ones that I have today have three leaves on them, and one plant only has one leaf. So let's count and see how many leaves we have all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, and one more makes 19. 19 clover leaves. Do you remember how to say pumpkin in sign language? Like this, pumpkin. You try, pumpkin. In the autumn, the corn has already been picked from the garden, but the corn stalks are still fun to use as a festive decoration. Today, we're going to use popcorn kernels, which are found inside of an ear of corn for an experiment. This experiment is called dancing corn. I have a jar of water that I filled about a quarter of the way. I have some white vinegar, some baking soda, 
and some popcorn kernels. And I also have a spoon. The first thing that I'm going to do is take the popcorn kernels and I'm going to pour some in to the jar of water. The next thing that I'm going to do is to take the baking soda and I'm going to dump the baking soda in and just give it a little mix so that the baking soda dissolves into the water. You can see that the water isn't clear anymore. It's kind of a white color from the baking soda. And last, I'm going to take my white vinegar and I'm going to pour it in to this larger jar that has the baking soda and the popcorn kernels inside. And watch carefully. Wow. Do you see how it was fizzing? And now let's look at the popcorn kernels. Oh, there they go. They're jumping from the bottom of the jar to the top of the jar. And if I give it a little mix, let's see what happens. I can see the kernels are still jumping around and dancing. I wonder what happens if we add a little more white vinegar. See if we can make them dance again. Give it a little stir. And let's see. There they go. Jumping to the top again. Oh, there went one and another. And that is the dancing corn experiment. That was a really cool experiment. And it's also really simple to do at home. All you need is popcorn kernels, water, baking soda, and vinegar. Let's move on to today's work. For today's work, you will need an ear of corn, some tweezers, and a small bowl. Today, we are going to be removing the kernels of corn with a pair of tweezers. Now, when you use tweezers, you can see that there are two sides. You're going to put your thumb on one side and your two fingers on the other side like this. And when you squeeze them together, the tweezers open and close. With my other hand, I'm going to hold the ear of corn and I'm going to twist the kernels and squeeze and drop them in to the little bowl right here. So I recommend after you husk the ear of corn and you remove the outside that you let it sit for a while so that the kernels dry up and they're easier to remove like this. Let's try another one. Squeeze and twist and drop it into the little bowl. Squeeze and twist and drop it into the little bowl. This work is really great in terms of fine motor skills because it really strengthens the small muscles in your fingers and hands. Let's get back to circle time. 
Welcome back to Circle Time, friends. Thanks for learning with me today. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, give my video a thumbs up, and find me on OutSchool for my live and interactive classes. You can also support my channel by checking out my Patreon page and gain access to bonus features for your child. At this time, I am now offering one-on-one -on -one tutoring as well as curriculum consultations, so feel free to reach out for more information. It's time to sing our goodbye song, so let's weave like this. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. Goodbye, friends. I'll see you next time. Have a great day, friends, and I'll see you tomorrow.